guys, me, host Super Star. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what we got. We got some stuff. And I've got some stuff. I've got some presents for Mrs. Super Star here to review as well. Hello. So, Mrs. Super Star here with us today. Hello. <laughs> and I'm going to go through these boxes. Um, I'll do this one in a moment. This is fan mail. This one's fan mail. Uh, she needs a look up who sent me on my phone. My phone's buried back there somewhere. <laughs> so, if I could just ask you to put that down on the, put it on the other table for now. And then we'll go through the mail. Um, so this week we've got Super Loot. So I will be unboxing Super Loot in a separate video for you as one of my mystery boxes that we get. Um, I was very lucky that I contacted Super Loot and I said, could I get another box from you? And they just sent one through the post, they didn't even respond. <laughs> so I was happy with that. Then you can put that on the floor. Then the lovely people over at Geek Gear got in contact with us about sending us their Wizardry Harry Potter box. Can't wait to open that. Yeah, me and Miss Soupsol are going to do a full review on this together. I need Miss Soupsol because it's Harry Potter. I'm not, I'm not the biggest geek of, in the world with Harry Potter, but I do like the franchise. Uh, so me and Miss Soupsol will open this on the camera later on this week. So I can go with the. Oh. Don't you put it down? Yeah, the side I, have I know. All right, guys. So, onto, box. I know, onto the mail. So we'll do we'll do this this big box first at the bottom, get it out of the way. So they've sent the biggest box. <laughs> so this is Smith's. It arrived today uh, via Yodel. And do you know what? It only actually took Smith's two days to deliver this. This isn't bad considering the time. And I didn't pay express delivery. I paid regular. So I only paid two pound delivery for this. The first thing we've got, and it's actually one of Miss Supertroll's first presents. This Ooh. is Severus Snape from Harry Potter, the Mattel doll line. We have reviewed a few of the doll lines before, haven't we? Yes, we had um, Harry, we've got Draco and Dumbledore. Dumbledore, oh, yeah. And um, McGonagall. Oh, yeah, yeah. We still need to get Hermione and Ron, don't we? Yeah. <coughs> then uh, they are releasing Voldemort and Harry Potter with the Triwizard Tournament. And Cedric Diggory. Ooh. That box set is being released on the 8th of October, which is all, sorry, the 8th of August, which is only a few days away. It's on pre order on Amazon.co.uk. I've placed my pre order for me and Lynn. <laughs> so it's actually £40 box set. It's not cheap, but there are four figures inside of it. Yes. So I'm happy. Um, and this is the Severus Snape one. Obviously, we need a Severus Snape figure. I am a big fan of the sort of dark art characters. So Snape was a definite buy for me. And obviously he's, he's Alan Rickman and he's passed away, so I mean this is a nice way of having something to remember that role as well. Especially when we've got Snape's wand as well. Yeah. So that's that. Disney okay. box. Disney box. Do we need, I don't know what this is for Disney. So the Disney box, I went on the Disney Star website. These are brand new out in the UK, um, they haven't even come to the American site yet. England, England and Europe have got these a little bit earlier than the Americans. Oh, he's a Buzz and Woody box this time. Ooh. Howdy box. Super Sour Junior, love colouring that. Oh, it's Toy Story on the inside, I'll leave it as well. That. <laughs> so these are brand new, like I said, in, in, the, in the UK. And uh, we will be reviewing them this week to get our review out because we're excited to review them. Finally, in the doll classic line, we have Alice. They've never produced an Alice doll before, as far as I'm aware, in this series. The, the, the classic dolls, they've never had an Alice, as far as I'm aware. the classic dolls, they did the Alice, the live action Yeah, the movie Alice. ones, which I've got up top. Yeah, um, but they've not done it in that style, I don't think. And this is the classic Alice from Disney, and it looks like the classic Alice from all the um, artist illustrations from the actual original Alice in Wonderland book, which I'm a massive fan of. Um, so I can't wait to take this on an action figure for, for like photography run. And I'm going to take it with me. If we go to there's a place near us called New Miller Dam, which is in Wakefield, which is a very foresty uh, background. So I can't wait to take her and take some shots with this figure. I've got some. I've got a doll based on that. I can put her on as well. So that'll be cool. So we've got Alice, and then Mrs. Supersoil's second gift of the day. Think of it. Tinkerbell, and this time it's Peter Pan's Tinkerbell. This isn't Tinkerbell from the Tinkerbell uh, movies. From the, yeah, from the movies. This is, at, this is the proper Tinkerbell from the classic Disney Peter Pan movie. And they've also released Wendy, but we haven't bit the bullet on Wendy just yet. 
and there's also Megra from a Hercules, and there's also Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, I'm hoping that if they've released those ones, that Wave 2, if they do another wave of them, might give us Peter Pan finally to go with Tink. Yeah, or hopefully Captain they might Hook. do sort of like the male counterparts of. Yeah, or Captain Hook. I'd also like to see the original um, Mad, Hatter. Mad Hatter. You know them sets they did at Disney where they did the princesses with the like, te- like the in like a setting, like the bedroom and Tiana's kitchen and things yeah, like that. Yeah, like I had Mulan's podium. Yeah. I think. How cool would it be if they actually released a, a Mad Hatter with his table? And the March Hare uh, and the Dormouse, and then basically you could then put the Alice with it. Yeah, with like the tea party. And she sits at the other end. Likewise, I'd like to get Captain Hook and Peter Pan for Tinkerbell. Yeah. So I do hope they'll give us some more figures. And obviously with the with them releasing Esmeralda and Megra, I would like to see maybe the um, their counterparts, you know, Philippe and things like that from Hunchback. But I'd also like to see um, Hercules and Hades would be a good doll as well. So, Especially if it's coming Wait, did they say they're coming out the second wave? They haven't said a second wave, know. that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping for a second wave. If they're aiming for sort of like October, having the Hades for Halloween would be awesome. Yeah. That would be And we have another big delivery here. I believe this is my monthly delivery. <laughs> At this point, it's monthly. From Comics and Cocktails, seems to be getting all sorts sent these <laughs> days. All my pre orders are coming in at once, which is both wonderful and bankrupting. Because <laughs> sometimes Hasbro. Pu- push things back. At the beginning of the year when I placed all my pre-orders, we didn't expect Covid to last this long. So I was, you know, all the pre-orders got a bit delayed and then everything's come out in August it seems. So this box is cram-packed with figures. And I mean cram-packed. Don't say that really, yes. <laughs> There's about, no six, about five or six figures in here, more than that maybe. So the first figure, oh my god I've got to unbox, I've got to unwrap each one. <laughs> They've individually wrapped them, which is brilliant. For delivery purposes, that's brilliant. But for unboxing, it's terrible. <laughs> there we go. So, finally in my hands, my 40th anniversary Beau Buffett in the Carbonite Crystal Box. Look at that shiny box. I say I like the box. Shiny. shiny. Look at the figure. Yeah, shiny. I don't really have one style so. Yeah, but if you look at those ones behind you, it's part of that series. They're all like metallic and shiny. <laughs> Basically, it's a way for Hasbro to get more money out of geeks like me. <laughs> Who's bought that's what was that the third Boba set this year? <laughs> and I bought it. It's okay. Because I'm a fool. I'm a fool for loving you. Alright then we've got how many figures? <laughs> then we've got G.I. Joe American Hero G.I. Joe is there G.I. Joe Yes we've got Scarlet who, in my opinion, is basically the Black Widow of the G.I. Joe universe, it looks like. But she looks awesome. I'm loving her outfits and all the knives and stuff. That's kick-ass. Can't wait to do some... Uh, would it be Hasbro? Can't wait to do some head swaps. Is it me, or would that make a really cool M- uh, MJ head as well? Then we've got... G.I. Joe! Duke! Been wanting Duke for a long time. He looks nice. Loving the guns and stuff as well. He looks mean and menacing. Yeah, he's gonna look awesome. And then, my absolute favourite. It's Roadblock. Played by The Rock in the movies. Let me see if it looks like Rock. It doesn't like The Rock. It's, it's, made, it's based on the original. It's, based on the ori- not it's not The Rock now. It's based <laughs> on the original G.I. Joe. But I'm saying in the movies, yes. The Rock played him. So yeah, there's Duke. He looks cool. So like I said, I'm not collecting all the G.I. Joes, but I'm getting the Joes, the, the military line, because I want. I think they'll look cool when I go and do, like, um, Predator shots, because the Predator will be seven inches, so it'll be taller than the humans, so I can make them all, like, look up at him and shoot and stuff, and it'll make some really cool uh, shots with all the military figures. So I can't wait for that. Ooh, we're on the last figure. Last figure from Comics and Cocktails. Oh, yeah. It's a good figure to end on. It's the Multiverse Joker from Batman the White Knight. <laughs> I love this comic book series. It was amazing. Uh, so I can't wait. And obviously they've got the head swap in there as well, so we can swap out the heads and actually have the, the civilian head on there as well. And he's got his really long big gun as well, so that's chaos. Loving that. That's another cool figure. That's another box down. 
Right, do you want to pass us the fan mailbox back over, will you? And whilst you do that, I'm going to quickly jump on my phone here. And I'm going to go to Instagram. And just double check on the message. Because a vintage toy guy, thank you very much for sending this through to us. I really appreciate it. I know. Uh, so Robbie, Robbie, thank you very much for sending this through to us, man. I really appreciate it. Let's crack it open and see what Robbie sent us. He's known as the Vintage Toy Guy on Instagram. Please check him out. I don't even know how to get into this box. It's stupidly well solid out. I'm gonna make a decision here. <laughs> I'm scared I might have to rip a box with my bare hand tomorrow. And people for years have been saying get a box cutter. Why? My scissors are stupidly powerful. <laughs> Just ripped into a cardboard box that shouldn't have even opened that way. Just ripped the top off the box. <laughs> Aha! Right, so first thing in the box. Ooh. Vintage comic book. It's a vintage comic book. Uh, ah! Then you just all over. <laughs> there we go. Wolverine, Colossus, and Nightcrawler. The collector's item first issue of the X Men Operators. I've not seen this in a while. Fighting for Mutant Freedoms. Ooh, so that's an issue one. That's a nice old comic, is that? When's that from? It, well, I say it must be 90s because I saw the back. <laughs> God some. Milk! Do you remember those? God Milk. I used to love those adverts. Wow! Don't know where you got this from, dude, but originally this was marked up at 25 quid, apparently. Damn. So, November of 1998. Wow, that's an old comic. So we've got a box here. Oh my god. We've got a little box here. We've got a few other things here. Yeah, there is. There's things like hidden in the walls. Oh, look, I've lost something. I don't want to miss anything because I don't want anything to get caught up in the. Oh my god, there's more. That one fell out. American Hero, G.I. Joe is there. Yeah, Joe. Right. So that was the packaging for that. I've got a bunch of stuff here on the desk, and I've got a little, another little tiny box here, which has got other things in it as well. I thought it might have been just a box to hold all this stuff in place, but it's not. It's actually got stuff in it. Oh, finger! <laughs> this is why you need a box cutter. Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. Dude, your solid tape is ridiculous. At least everything's all secure. I know. It's insane, isn't it? What the hell are these? Is this box empty? Yeah, but leave it there. Oh. It's gonna be a bit out of me. No, because look at all the other stuff I've got to put in it. There's a lot of he's used a lot of tissue and bubble wrap. <laughs> So we have a bunch of individually wrapped little three-inch figures. So I'll open those all together in a moment. That'll take a little bit of, of doing. Uh, but one of the first figures I've pulled up is a old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's cool, man. Totally nostalgia, dude. There we go. Oh, we've got like this toy cat. Woo! Oh, Optimus Prime. Transformers, robots in disguise. It's an old, an old uh, Transformer of Optimus Prime. Wah, 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 wah. Can I build it? You're gonna sit and try and build it. No, because I had one of these. Did you? As a kid. <laughs> now we've got another, I believe, another turtle. Yeah, another turtle. Oh wow, this one's got finger uh, articulation. Wow, where's this bad boy from? Uh, 2004, Mirage Studios Playmates. So when's this one from? I forgot they had all the feet, the things on the feet to look at. Uh, 2003 for that one. Guess we just had a, another turtle there. 
they soup cells trying to build Optimus Prime. Oh, uh, it's another one of the turtles. That's awesome, man. I like his ninja shirt on this one as well. Wow. So that's from the 2003 line as well. I found, oh, I think I found a wrestler. Oh, wow, that's old. That's an old one. Stone Cold Steve Austin says, 316, I'm going to whoop your ass. Price check on a jackass. <laughs> It's the bendable ones. I had these, man. These could, like, you could sort of bend them a little bit. They had some give in their arms things. So you could, like, boom, do the stunner and stuff with him. When's it from? Because I actually had this back in the day. Oh, my God, 1996. Oh, wow, that is old. <laughs> I actually had that. I had that back in the day. Uh, yeah, don't it. <laughs> Uh, the final one of the turtles. We've got Michelangelo. <coughs> That's cool, man. I'm guessing he'll be from the same line, but yeah, 2003 Mirage. Uh, then we've got a bit more bubble wrap, tissue paper. We've got two more things here. Is this another wrestler? Oh, yes it is! If you smell what the rock is cooking! The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. I like how my voice for the rock and stone cold is both the same. Again, this is from that old 1996 Jack Pacific line. Again, I had this man with the Brahma Bull tattoo on his shoulder because that was the tattoo we only had at the time <laughs> and he still was skinny <laughs> and he used to do the people's eyebrow and the millions and millions of the Rocks fans and the dozen oh <laughs> Transformers, Bumblebee, robots in disguise. Wah, 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 wah. It's interesting that one is a good team. It's weird. And then we've got a bunch of these little ones, which I believe are these, maybe, I'm not sure. They could be Joe's. Or oh, Collect, or oh, there, there, the, there were called something else in the UK. Action Core or something. No, it wasn't Action Man. There was a line of G.I. Joe's basically in the UK. It was the exact same figures, but instead of saying it was they were from, like, Texas, they were from, like, Lincolnshire. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Much less exciting. Yeah. And then eventually they basically reconsolidated the line and made it canon so that they were, like, operating together in the United States and England. Oh, my God, what are these from? I don't know what these are from. These are old, though, by the looks of them. Can anyone help me identify what these could be? We've got a whole bunch of them here. I've got no clue what they are, I'm sorry. What is that the word? It's like space? It's like scuba or space kind of thing? I'm guessing space. I've got no idea what they're from. I'm really sorry, dude. I have no idea what these are, but I'll look into it. I'm just going to unwrap the rest of these real quick, and I'll come back. One minute. Alright, so yeah, we had three of the orange uh, guys. Then we had two of these blue dudes. Or yellow dudes. I'm really sorry, I don't know what these are from. And then I've got... Like a scuba guy here. Like a... Um, undercover ops beret kind of guy. Another three inch military figure. And then I believe this is from Thunderbirds. <laughs> so thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate that, Robbie. Thank you, man. The comic book and the figures are nice and nostalgic there, mate. So thank you very much for including those. Really do appreciate it. If anybody wants to send anything through to the channel to be unboxed, then let us know in the in the, the DMs on social media and I'll provide you with an address to send something to. So 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, here comes the soup, so I'll back. <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> You've just time for the exit. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'm here with... Me, Mrs. Super Sorrel. So please check out Mrs. Super Sorrel's Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. She's no longer uploading to YouTube, but she will be up, uh, featuring on my channel from time to time. And some of the videos featuring her from here will appear over on the Facebook for Mrs. Super Sorrel, as well as some other videos about Disney. And what else do you do? Harry Potter. Yeah, what do you do? Do you like, like the handbag reviews from Loungefly? What else do you do? Toys Double box toys, Disney pins, boxes and stuff. Disney pins, then, yeah, Harry Potter do, stuff. Yeah, gonna do loads of different stuff, and then when uh, COVID restrictions lift a little bit more, I'll be going back to Primark, looking at all the Disney T-shirts and what have yeah. you there, because that's always. And all the new Disney releases and stuff. Yeah, can't wait. Cool. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Star, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye.